Hi everybody, it's Brian Bagley with the NCloud9 Dynamics 365 YouTube channel. Our topic is a feature that's been part of Dynamics 365 for over 10 years, but you might not know how to manage it in your environment. That feature is called Duplicate Detection, and by tweaking some of the settings, it can help keep your Dynamics data clean and free of duplicates. But before we get started, we would appreciate it if you would like this video. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so, that you can always get our videos as soon as they become available. I'm gonna to go to my demo environment, so I'm gonna click on that. And when I get to the demo environment area, I'm gonna to go to my settings, click on settings, and we are gonna look at the data management settings. Now, there are three different data management settings for duplicate detection. One is called jobs, one is called rules, one is called settings. We're gonna start with settings. Now, when we go into settings, we get this basically twilight zone, old fashioned CRM screen. This is probably about 15 years old and hasn't been modernized to the new Power Platform Admin Center. So maybe in the future, things are gonna look a little bit different. But I can turn on or off duplicate detection by these check boxes. And then I can also select when duplicate detection happens. So I can say, only look for duplicates when a record is created or only select look for duplicates when we're importing data. There's a middle option here, which really dates things because this is this is related to a Dynamics 365 for Outlook app that's about maybe five years obsolete. So Microsoft hasn't updated CRM for this yet. Probably as, as the future comes, this option will go away. But basically, do you want duplicate detection to run when you create or update a record? Or do you want it to do during data import or during both of these situations? Leave your check boxes on for the ones that you want it to track. Now I'm gonna head back to our Power Platform Admin Center, and then we're gonna look at the rules. So rules are where we go to next. I'm gonna to go to duplicate detection rules underneath data management. When I open it up, I get a new screen pop up. Once again, it's the old style Dynamics 365 Admin Center. Taking a few seconds to load here, but when we open this up, it pops up, and these are the nine out of the box duplicate detection rules that Microsoft comes with these days. So I don't like all of them. So what I generally do is make a few changes to them and we'll probably delete a number of them. So for example, let's look at this one here. We have accounts with the same account name. Well, that sounds like a really nice rule to prevent having multiple accounts with the same account name, but how often do you actually have accounts where the name might exist under the same name. You might be selling the same product to different versions of an account. So I'm not, I'm not a big fan of this rule. What I'll do is I will unpublish this rule and I'm gonna go make a change to this. And while we're doing it, we're gonna show you how rules work. So what we have is accounts with the same account name and we want to say when the account name for two accounts records has an exact match, then consider it a duplicate. I can add a second factor in here and say, maybe add one where an account number is also the exact match. And that would prevent me from getting duplicate accounts where we have two companies with the same account name, but they have different account numbers in our system. If we have it set up this way, it will not pop up with the warning about account duplicates. So we're gonna save this here. I'm gonna publish this rule out. It takes a few seconds for that to happen. And then we can close this up. Now, another rule, accounts with same email addresses. Since we don't use email addresses in most of our client CRMs, I will always just automatically unpublish this rule. So I select it and I click OK. Same thing with accounts with the same phone number. Like, like I previously said, we could have accounts that have the same phone number with the same name. We might have an account with the same phone number. I unpublish this also as, as a rule. Accounts with the same website, we can do the same thing, delete that. Now, those are the four account rules that are created out of the box. We also have three rules specifically related to contact records. Contacts with the same phone number, 
contacts with the same email address and contacts with the same first name and last name. What I usually do is I delete or unpublish these two records, same business phone number, same email address. The reason I delete deactivate the same business phone number is because more than likely the account business phone number comes from the account and is passed on to the contact record. If we have two people who work at the same company and the business phone number is the same, you're going to get that pop up every time. And that's going to kind of drive you crazy after a while. And then I'm going to unpublish the email address because I'm going to make our third contact rule a little better than what Microsoft gives us out of the box. So let's unpublish these two rules and it leaves us with one published contact rule and this is contacts with the same first name and last name so what I do is I just make a little modification to that rule and so first thing I'm going to do is unpublish this rule and I'm going to say well in addition to checking the first name and the last name I also want to say does the email address match so I'll scroll down through my list I'll find the email address field and I'll say exact match and I'm going to save this and I'm going to publish this. So what happens now if I create a new contact record in CRM and it has the same first name and last name, it's not going to pop up a duplicate detection. But what it will do is if it has the same first name, same last name and the exact same email, it's going to pop up a notification that I have a possible duplicate record. The next rule is also another good rule, which I generally leave open. It's leads with the same email address. So we have a rule out of the box, leads with the same email address. If it matches another lead when it's created or updated, and these two records have the same email address, you're going to get a, a warning pop-up. I'm going to show you what I do to reduce the number of duplicate leads that come into my system where we may already have a contact record with the same email address. So I'm going to click on new. I'm going to create a new rule. And this rule is called leads with same email address as a contact. Okay. I'm going to open this to full screen. I'm going to say, what's my base record? The base record is a lead because we're creating the record and we want to duplicate detect on the creating or updating of that lead record. And the record that CRM is going to look at instead of a lead is the contact record. And I'm going to choose then my two fields that I want to compare. So in the lead, we're looking at the email field. In the contact record, we're also looking at the email field. And then I am going to choose my criteria in this case, I'm going to say an exact match. I'm going to click Save. I'm going to click Publish. And I've created a new rule. I've published it to two dynamics right here. Leads with same email address as a contact. It's currently in a publishing stage, which means it will not detect those duplicates until it's completely published. So let's test that rule we just created. I'm going to go into my leads and I'm gonna click on the plus new. I'm gonna start filling out a lead record. So I'm gonna say Dan at AdventureWorks. I'm gonna give him a name and I'm gonna just fill in his email address. So I'm gonna just copy that in there. When I click save, I get my warning. It's saying this current record that you have, a lead, it looks like we already have a duplicate record for Dan in CRM with the same email address. Now, of course, you can always ignore and save, which will create that new record, even with the duplicates, or you can press cancel. And maybe you want to either delete this record since you just found out that the contact record exists for this customer, or you could possibly go in and maybe change the email address. It's up to you. So now that you've seen how duplicate detection rules can be tweaked to keep your data clean, it's time for you to get into your CRM and update your rules and settings. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or reach out to us, the experts at NCloud9. Thanks for checking out this video and please like it and subscribe.